chase a few flathead. We're just coming up to the low tide now. That water's draining off those flats, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a go. Um, the fishing has been a little bit tough lately, partly due to a bad barometer, and also the water's still quite dirty, especially around this low tide. But great conditions, not much wind. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna chase that tide up the system, just make full use of those exposed banks. Uh, I'm gonna fish a lot of drainage points and weed beds as well, just the edges of the weed beds. So we'll see how we go and hopefully we get a few fish. First fish of the morning. Probably bang on 40 that one. I had to work pretty hard for that first fish, but that tide's still coming down, so the fishing should get a bit better. I haven't seen a lot of bait getting pushed around either, which is a bit of a worry, but like I said, once that tide starts pushing out a little bit more, they should hopefully go into feed mode. Oh, a big one. Right. I feel they're starting to bite a bit more now. And what I'm looking for is I want to see bait, but I want to see them getting pushed around a fair bit. And also taking very close note of what the water levels are doing so now that that water started receding over that weed edge I can just focus on the outside weed edge and I'm not wasting time casting it up in the real shallow part and getting weed on my hook either so always want to keep an eye out on what the water levels are doing I don't want to come all the way out into this channel because there's a lot of dead ground between that weed edge and that big drop off so I'm only wanting to really work that first two, three meters off that weed edge. So if I park the boat up nice and close, I can do that. And I'm not wasting time winding that plastic back another five or 10 meters. And it might not seem like a lot, but that can add up quite a bit during the day. a group of snake drains along this bank and what I like about these is if you do find some quite often you'll get quite a few on a certain bank so I can go through and just quickly fish every single one of these and quite often you'll get days where you'll pick up one fish per drain so if you've got a bank that has 10 of them you get 10 fish pretty quickly you're only really plugging a couple of casts at each one Great way to get your numbers up quickly. That's 50's model, that's the biggest of the day so far. It's not a very fat fish, but we'll take that. It's been a pretty tough bite this morning. I think we've definitely got over 10 fish, but a lot of those fish have been tiny, so we'll 
We'll get her back and uh, hopefully we can get a bigger one. Tiny one. Plenty of bait work in here. I thought we'd be getting a few more hits to be honest. been legal that guy I'm gonna fish the video up there. Very, very slow morning, very tough bite. But we chipped away, we got a few fish in the end. Did drop a couple of good ones, which cost me, but that happens, it's especially on a tough bite. They're just not hitting that plastic very hard. Um, but what I made sure I did today is scent definitely helps. Uh, covered a lot of ground and also hit a lot of sniper spots, which are just areas that I fish that are very small. I can pull up to them, I only need to make several casts and then I can leave and that's about it really. I don't generally like fishing huge long banks when it's a tough bite. I try and find areas where they're more concentrated and you're more likely to get that reaction bite off them. But other than that guys, I'll let you go. Have a great day. See you later.